Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, I just wanted to uh, go through some of my issues that I've had with uh, my new MacBook Pro. Um, the reason for my upgrade is my previous MacBook Pro was 2012, sorry, 2013. So it's definitely been a, it's definitely getting a little bit old now. Um, and I wanted to take advantage of the silicon chip. So this is the new beast. Um, and I'm running Monterey on it and um, it has been a real challenge for me, to be honest, um, in basically migrating everything across to here. Not a lot of the plug-in manufacturers are ready for the silicon chips. Um, and what's been happening is they're basically all running off Rosetta 2, I believe is the program that comes with um, Monterey and other operating systems that help you run these older uh, programs. Uh, so with that Rosetta 2 would be kind of, you know, I, I'd say that probably 60 to 70 percent of my software wouldn't be working on this laptop right now, if not more. Um, the things that I've really struggled with are opening old sessions. Uh, I have uh, sessions that go back to 2004 on Logic and my old Mac Pro, uh, which is a 2012 Mac Pro, um, has actually been have 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 not had any issues with opening old sessions on my mac on my mac pro um and and yet with the new machine here um it just does not like it um i have to disable a whole bunch of plugins it ke keeps going into uh, this loop of finding audio unit errors and wanting to relaunch and discard and you just get in this really stupid cycle of you can't even actually open the session to then disable plugins. Um, and one particular one is the UAD stuff. Uh, I'm a long-term user of UAD. I've got two quad cards in my Mac Pro and every session is full of UAD plugins. And even though I don't have UAD installed on my, uh, my MacBook Pro, the new one, um, obviously all the plugins are coming up as disabled. Um, but I believe that was causing, or that is causing a, a major hiccup in opening sessions up. So even though I don't have the software installed, it just doesn't like it, the fact that it's got these UAD um, instances in there. Um, another one was um, my Omnisphere doesn't work. I need to upgrade that. Um, you know, I think about, 90% of the native instrument stuff doesn't work. Um, on It does work via Rosetta, but not purely natively with silicon. Um, I hope I worded that right. And so my big takeaway from this video um, is be careful with your upgrades. Um, make sure you have have a copy of, as you'll see down here, um, hopefully, hopefully you can see this. I've got 10.3.2 Logic. I've got 10.4.8, which is my go-to at the moment. And this is the latest Logic Pro. So they've basically dropped the X and it's now called Logic Pro. Um, the problem with I have now is that if I make up a new beat with Logic Pro and all of a sudden it has a problem with that and it, it uh, gets corrupted or it just is unstable, um, I can't open that because it's not backward compatible. I can't open it in 1048. So I'm actually stuck there and I'm waiting for Apple to you know bring down a, a fix for me, which well, who knows when that's going to happen. Um, so it's, it's very disappointing. Um, and 1048 is basically where I'm at. And if it doesn't work in 1048, then I've also got 1032. Um, I got a previous video um, in my tutorial showing you how to make a copy of Logic, your previous Logic. Um, please do it, make a copy of that and have it on standby. And and I guess if you do open up in Logic Pro, um, like an older session that opens up fine, um, just save it as a new version, not as a alternative. Save it as a new version. So just say this, the song is called Lullaby, call it Save As Lullaby 2. Um, so that way you can, if you want to go back to 1048, you can open up Lullaby. Otherwise, um, you won't be able to open up Lullaby 2 in 1048. Anyway, that's the big takeaway. Um, 
I've finally also got my PL2 um, converter working, Antelope, conver uh, Antelope converter working with the new Mac, Mac, uh, MacBook Pro. Um, of course, my Focusrite um, Scarlett Gen 1 plugs straight in, haven't had any issues with it at all, um, which is, I don't know, nine years old now or something, eight years old. Um, but the Pure 2, which is less than a year old, I had a lot of trouble with the drivers. Uh, Antelope, um, in their defense, did get back to me very quickly, made sure, followed it up, made sure I was okay, and I finally got it all working. Anyway, guys, have fun, um, and just be careful, do your backups, and keep a copy of the previous Logic versions on your laptop, because you may be needing them sooner than you think. Cheers. Have fun, guys.